This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo, levels 3-4, problem number 21. Jane wants to color the heads, wings, and tails of parrots with three different colors, red, blue, and green. She colors one parrot's head red, the wings green, and the tail blue. How many more parrots can she color so that all the parrots are colored differently? A1, B2, C4, D5, or E9? This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we'll be doing the solution. To start, we want to remind ourselves what it is we're looking for. So Jane wants to color the head, wing, and tail of each parrot with three different colors, and we're looking for the number of ways she can do this. So the first parrot that they mention she colors its head red, the wings green, and the tail blue. So down here, that's what this is. We're going to do a, a row with the head, a row with the wings, and a row with the tails. And in this case, the first parrot we have has a red head, green wings, and blue tail. So now let's fix one of the colors and manipulate the other two, and that will make it easier for us to count. So in this case, let's fix the head. So let's try to see how many parrots we can make with a red head. So the first one we have red head, green wings, blue tail. Well, we can also have red head, blue wings, green tail. And as we can see, there's no other parrot we can create with a red head that's not already listed because we want each of the head, wing, and tail to be three different colors. So that's it with the red head. Now let's do a blue head. We have a blue head, we can make the wings red, the tails green. And again, we want to keep the blue head and then we can do a green wing and a red tail. And that's it with blue. That's it with the blue head. Now let's see with the green head. The green head, we can have red wings, blue tail. And again, keeping with the green head, we could also have green head, blue wings, red tail. So we can see that in total there's one, two, three, four, five, six different parrots she can make. However, she already did this first combination over here, so we need to subtract one because she already counted it. So six minus five minus 1 is equal to 5, which is answer choice D. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.